let's consider this question the value of k which makes this function continuous at x equal to 1 is when we complete solving for k we are going to choose from one of these options to solve this let's understand the meaning of this function the upper part is known as left hand limit while the lower part is known as right hand limit consider the number line at x equal to 1 the left hand limit must not be equal to 1 but the right hand limit k can be equal to 1 and for the continuity of this function the upper part must be equal to the lower part of the function that is the left hand limit must be equal to the right hand limit this is the condition for continuity hence we are going to solve this function to solve this problem we can apply any of these methods by using differentiation that is finding the derivative directly or we can use difference of two squares in this video I will apply difference of two squares you can also consider applying Le Hopita rule in using limits which we are going to consider in another video in difference of two squares a square minus b square is equal to a minus b in bracket and a plus b in bracket this is difference of two squares also in mathematics square root of 4 is the same thing as 4 to the power of half that is square root of x is the same thing as x to the power of half subsequently x is equal to square root of x in bracket squared that is x to the power of half then in bracket there is square outside however this can be written as square root of 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 these two can take away these two and you end up having x only which is the same as this from the beginning I'm going to use this to modify this function. Hence, k is now equal to this means x is the same as this. Nothing changed. Also, k is equal to 1 is the same as 1 squared because 1 squared is the same thing as 1. Hence, this is the same as this, is the same as this. Nothing has changed. Consider difference of two squares. If a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b, a plus b. Hence, the square root of x squared minus 1 squared is the same as square root of x minus 1 and square root of x plus 1 hence i'm going to apply difference of two squares to this denominator hence k is now equal to this next this can take away this and we are left with 1 over square root of x plus 1 next we take the limit 
as x tends to 1. Here, we are going to substitute 1 for x. Here, you can see that k is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1. Hence, k is equal to 1 over 2. And this is our answer. And our answer is B. You can consider other topics in functions under precalculus. And you can locate other videos by following the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video.